Welcome back, everybody. I know. I know. Everybody keeps asking for it. We're going to go ahead and do it. If you guys keep bothering me enough, we're going to open your favorite box. I just, I can't, I can't take it anymore. There's just too much pressure. No. Wait, that's not your favorite box? That's your favorite box, isn't it? I knew this was your favorite box. I knew. I, no? Seriously, again? It's just because she's attractive. It's the only reason you guys care. Seriously. If she looked like me, nobody would care. No, but seriously, this time we're doing something. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're going back, everybody. We're going back. Oh, we're going, but look at that. We're going back. Everyone said, Rudy, are you gonna take us back? You goddamn Rudy, I'm gonna take it back. Me. Yes, for it. We're doing it. This video, my supporter, his name is Ben. He's a patron. And further in this video, he should be known as, he will only be known as Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben, everybody wants to know one question before we open this box. And you know what that question is, everybody? Is it a pre-release box? For the love of God, contact Wizards, and I need to know. Is it a pre-release box? We just answered the question. And that's it. Get the story. Get the strategy. That's all we need to know. Okay. Well, <laughs> God's... Saviors of Kamigawa. Boy, there's a lot to, to comment about on a box like this. First, let's get out our handy dandy. Come on, would you come out of your little cave? Would you can see? All right. So the first thing everybody needs to know is for those of you who weren't around in 2004, I think it was. I need everyone to understand what the Kamigawa block really, uh, really was supposed to be in the time of 2004 versus. Uh, I think it was 2004 Champions, or was it, which, what was the date? Hold on, is that upside down? I cannot tell. Um, yeah, 2000, so 2004, I guess 2003 was Champions, Betrayers, and Saviors was 05, which was the end. So the thing everyone needs to know is, this was such a hated time of Magic the Gathering, everybody. Woo, look at those gold and black packs. Boy, that is neat, isn't it? That is super cool. Look at those packs. Man. Yeah, it's just visual sensory pleasure. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So that's the very first thing I want to lay out in the video is everyone needs to understand that when they actually made this set, it was received to the public so poorly. People hated this. They hated the theme. They hated the cards. They couldn't, the Americans and the Western culture could not connect. Oh my God, look at the card quality. Holy smokes. Can you hear that? Look. Oh my good, hold on. Oh my God, that smell. I'm trying to rub it on me and just sleep with it. All right, Um, before we go any further, just a heads up. There are really no major common uncommons in the set. But man, the artwork is going to blow your minds, everybody. Blow your minds. Soul shift mechanic. Anybody remember that? Sweep mechanic. Anybody remember that? Oh my God. Look at that artwork. That Asian. Look at the theme. Look at the drawings. Oh man. Awesome. Awesome. Secure tribe. I actually remember this card. And I'm surprised it's not like there's no commons and uncommons in this set really worth anything. But seriously, look at this scout. One drop, one, one. And you can start getting extra land. You can put a second land in turn each time. Anybody? It's amazing. There's not really value in some of it. Oh, Samurai. Super cool stuff. Uh, by the way, um, keep in mind, um, I believe no Mythics. Bone said, okay, so now we're going to Uncommons. Dense Canopy. Creatures can't fly. Nothing crazy. Look at that Hand of Cruelty. And the Cloud Chariot with a rare of... Did, did we just get the most expensive rare in the first pack of the box? Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that is hilarious. We just hit the most expensive card in the set on the very first pack. Um, not because the card is powerful. Not because the card looks beautiful. But because it has the most epic hat I've ever seen in my life. Anybody? No? All right. What an awesome... That is, what an awesome first pack. Um, so let's get into the, uh, meat potatoes mechanics of this set, everybody. Uh, remember, no mythics. Glory days. And, uh, godly, let's enjoy it. 
the illusionist. Look at that. Life's world. Oh, look at spirits, clutch, starlight, another tribe scout, death of a thousand stings. Look at that moth rider, path of the Angus flame, uncommons. Look at that chamber guard, dense canopy, ghostlit raider, and a wow, we're getting a bunch of good cards. Pain's reward. Look at the look at these cards. Three mana sorcery. You can you bid any amount of life. In turn order, each player may top the high bid. The bidding ends if the high bid stands. The high bidder loses life equal to the high bid and draws four cards. These <laughs> cards. Oh, we got a foil. These cards are so ridiculous. And a oh my goodness, old school foils, everybody. Can you even see the foiling on there? You can, all I see is that tattoo foiling. Look at that tattoo foiling. It changes colors. Whew, man. Well, um, this has been a good box opening so far. Boy, those packs are tough to open. Man, the card quality is something else, everybody. Hold on. Oh, God, the smell of that. All right. Here we go. We're going to skip through some... Oh, my goodness. We're going to skip through some of these commons a little quicker now. That is so cool. All right. The Kami. Bird Stalker. The Taken. Plow Through. Ronin. Ronin? Cuts the Bond. All right. Hand of Honor. Renegade. Overwhelming Intellect. Look at this card. Six mana. Ooh, that's expensive. Counter target creature spell. Draw cards equal to converted mana. Whoa, that is... Whoa. Wait. Do we have no... Oh, no. That's our foil rare. That's right. I just realized they take the place of the slot. Um, first to suffer is our foil rare. Unfortunately, we did not get an infamous imposter or a Mikakuso or a, a foil land. That is the remember foils are extremely expensive in these old sets, everybody. Uh, time to speed up a little bit. So let's get into uh, what do we want to talk about first. Um, financial value, history, how much people, the storyline with this ridiculous Asian themed sets, and how the American and the Western culture was like, oh, it's too complicated. We can't relate to that. That's that's not no. We we were just no. We thought we wanted smart and learning of cultures, but no, we were wrong. We were wrong. Whoa, piffing needle. I did not know this was like the first printing of Piffing Needle. That was highly unexpected. Like, it's amazing because, like, a Savior's a Kamigawa box is what, 200 bucks on eBay, probably? Oh my god, these packs are so hard to open. Anyways, um, golly, the Weavers and Oppressive Will Kami. I, people always get mad at me when I read these cards real quick because I'm always like, all right, Fiddlehead Kami, I'll just say Kami. All right, Kami. And people are like, Rudy, stop saying communism seriously oh secure tribe scout look at another thousand sting death another moth rider feral lightning Ooh, look at old una there anna una she's pretty and descendant and oh look at that a spirit the kieran spirit neato burrito so all right so as i'm opening this pack we're gonna talk about it first things first people didn't like the mechanics of the set this was one of the least received most disliked magic blocks in magic history they hated it i mean people i'm waiting for a, a flip card so i can really show you guys that part of it cruelty and the second right look at this card if target player has exactly 10 life it deals 10 damage to him they had some crazy cards back then so but yeah people didn't like the flip card design back then people didn't like a lot of the um the mechanics, people didn't like the theme, they didn't like the culture. It just was not well received. But because of that, well, I saw we got a rare land back there, Ghostlit Norse. Because of that, the print run was definitely pretty low. Ah, uh, Center of the Sea. This was really expensive before they reprinted it recently. This was a uh, pretty expensive card, the old Mikakuro. So I, I wanted to lay that because everyone always, there's always been whispers and rumors about kind of a return to Kamigawa thing. And personally, I don't think it's ever going to happen, period. Just, you're never going to see it. It's just people were just didn't connect to it. God, look at these things. Whoa, she's beautiful. Seek the Horizon and Scroll of Origins. Draw a card if you have seven or more cards. All right. So, like I said, this does... I, I do... You know, one of the things that's really cool about this is, like I said, the first pack, we got the best card in the set. And remember, there's no Mythics. So, you know, your odds... And this, is, of course, Saviors was the smaller set compared to, like, Champions... So, I mean, keep in mind, you're going to have uh, a lot less volatility on a small set like this. And wait, what just happened? We got three uncommon... Oh, wait, okay. I was like, wait, what's going on here? 
Season's Guide, eight mana. Look at that monster spirit. And we got a foil, Cowled by Wisdom. Let me change the lighting a little. Does the lighting look a little funny to you guys? Hang on, let's try something. I'm going to adjust that. Let's try that lighting. How's this lighting? Does that look kind of like... Does that seem a little better to everybody? No? About the same? Alright, I thought I was going to kind of do a little lighting reset there. So, anyways. I don't think we're ever going to see any more of the Kamigawa resets. More, I, I just don't think we're going to see it, everybody. Oops, let's make it a little brighter. Whoa! Look at me, this is what I get for screwing with the settings, am I right? I, I just don't think we're ever going to see it. People weren't happy with it. Although, I personally am a fan of it. And remember, this is this is one of the few blocks. This was 2004-ish. I went off to college, business school, all that fun stuff, so I was not around. This is one of the few blocks I completely missed. And a human wizard. Look at this dude. Traitor of morals. A triple black before you even get to the X. Holy smokes. Whew. All right, moving on. Man, these packs is... They're so difficult. The glue is so tight, Gaty. It is just ridiculous how tight these things are to try to get into them. Like, you try to get into these cards, and it's just so tight. That's what she said. All right, so look at these. Oh, my God. Anya, look at these. Skull Collector. Ivory Crane and a Blood Clock. Look at that clock. Beginning of each player's up. That player returns a permanent here. She controls to their owner's hand, unless you play two. All right, well, we're only a third of the way through the box, everybody. I know I've been kind of going a little slower, so I'm probably going to pick up the pace now. But I just really wanted to. Uh, oh, my. I can't even open these things. And the card quality. Oh, God. The, you know, that's such a, a, a sore topic in today's Magic era. Just the card quality. It's just such a, you know, all about cost cutting and being a big company. Undying Flames. It's amazing how back in the day they did it like this. And the cards and the, the quality. And they weren't concerned about trying to cut every penny out of it. They were just concerned about making a good game. And it was really... Uh, man, that's beautiful. It really is. A, it's a whole different feel to these old magic. Shape Stealer. Nico Endless Swarm. Look at these spells. Look at the high casting cost of all these spells. Look, you see that? Look, see the epic mechanic? Anybody remember they actually had a mechanic called epic? How many people even know that? Probably not very many people. Alright, let's get to some good stuff. I feel like since we got like the best at the beginning, kind of ruined the uh, climax. Stampeding, footsteps, descendant, and undying flame. Didn't we just get an undying flames? And that's another thing, everybody. Remember, when you open old booster boxes, this is normal. There, the randomization, or I'm sorry, the track printing, or whatever wording you want to use was very different back then. And it, like I, you guys remember my stronghold box opening, you know, double sliver clean, double mox diamond. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that kind of stuff happens in these. Wow. Look at that art. What is going on? Holy smokes. <laughs> ah, the Crescent Moon reprint of Conspiracy 2. Oh, so much fun. So cool. I wish you guys, I wish YouTube had smell vision and you could smell what I'm smelling right now, everybody. And it's not that smell. I'm talking, it's the good smell. I wish you guys could smell, I mean, the, the ink smell in this room right now. Whoa! Uh, oh, wait, sorry, out of order. Reverence is our rare and a foil. Look at that. Foil uncommon. Descendant of Masumuro. And how about the warping? Uh, there's a slight curl, but overall, pretty impressive for uh, 14 years old, 15 years old, everybody. How old is this thing? All right. Moving on, moving on. I know, I know. Let's, do, 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 do. Do, oop. Let's move on. Trusted advisor. Look at that guy. That's going to be me in the future. Although, no, I'm going to be the guy with the white beard. That would be cool. And seed the land and a foil. God. Look at that foil common, freed from the real. Look at that enchant. Look at that ability too. It's kind of interesting. So, like I said, I'm not following a lot of the uh, the financial value of this particular set, even though there are cards worth value. I know we already hit all the good stuff, but man, you guys have to be enjoying this half the at least half the amount I am. Secret keeper, shock weight, elite, 
And the Skyfire Kirin. Look at these spirits. Anybody notice all the casting costs are really high? Like, I feel like every rare and creature is like four to like eight casting costs. I don't remember the casting cost thing being like that. Maybe that was more common back then? I don't know. I just don't quite remember it. All right, Ghostlit Stalker. Look at that sword equipment. Look at that, Free Riders. Fine. Okay, so here we go. We finally got one of these double sided cards. People hated these cards, everybody. I can't. Okay, let's, let's take it step by step here. This is the actual card, or I guess we can look at the artwork with it. How about that? This is the actual card. The problem was when people looked at the whole thing together, it was so confusing because the way the text was upside down. But I always tell people if you want to just cleanly look at the card, you do that. And then, of course, when you trigger it or you flip the card, when you flip it, you cover up the bottom. And now you have a better understanding and you can actually read and understand the card a lot better. This was something I always told people. The other thing that was really weird was the rarity symbol was at the bottom. I always thought that was kind of a kind of a weird thing. All right. Well, we're heading into the close. Rich colors, everybody. Very rich colors. Extremely rich colors. Look at that stuff. All right. And free riders. The eye. Shifting borders. Well, here's another good hit, everybody. We'll go ahead and take a look. Look at this one. Another major hit. Infamous card of the set. Probably the most recognizable flip card from this era. I don't even know how to say it. Arayo Serontomy Ascendant? Two drop, one one flying. Whenever the fourth spell of a turn is played, you get to flip it. And then you flip it. Counter the first spell played by each opponent's turn. Legendary enchantment. So, there you go. That was a very... That's probably the most recognizable one that people will actually use and actually has some value. So, just so everybody knows. All right, let's get through these commons now that we've seen them all. Not exactly a huge set. And Molting Skin. Ah, oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? And, ooh, the women, these Asian women. I think Rudy's got a little fetish thing. Look at these beautiful women. It's that long dark. It's that long hair. It does it for me. All right, the War's Rage. Anybody remember this one? Again, actually, it's only a two drop. It's pretty rare considering uh, all the other spirits in this set were like six, eight drops just to get them in the flipping field. They were expensive little devils. Expensive little devils. All right. Here we are. All right, ready? Hand of Honor, Renegade, Intellect, and another spirit. Three drop spirit. Look at these spirits. Look how many star stars and spirits. and They're all legendary. Everybody knows. But look at that artwork. Who think who does who came up with that? Everybody says, well, the dude at the bottom, Polo or Polto? Like, how on earth do you think and design that? Like, I would never have the creativity. My life is just numbers and digits. I don't know how people just can come up with that amazing talent. Shifting borders. Wow, look at that garden. I feel like that's T Woo right there, anybody? It's like Travis. Look, there's Travis Wu in the background. T Woo tending that garden. Anybody? Anybody? No? Alright, you guys are no fun. Oh, that's Rudy at night. One with nothing. Oh, God. This is where the set it came from, huh? The infamous card. I think every time I see that card now, all I think of is Magic Man Sam's. Is that what it is? Or Rhystic Studies, that thing he does? That one video he did on that card was just my... his. Oh, my God. His editing skills blow my flipping mind. All right. Here we go. Envoy Presence of the Wise. Oh, God. These women. Jeez, they're beautiful. We have a foil, a mind cage. Look at that brain. There's Rudy just lost in there. Seven drop. Holy smokes. Wow, look at that foil. Death of a thousand stings foil. Woo! All right, we are down to the last couple packs, everybody. The last little chunk on the side. I know, I know. I've been kind of just taking my time. The gaze, the shadow, the intent. Oh, wait. What just happened? Uncommon, uncommon, sorry. Pure Intentions was the rare. And Foil Uncommon, Captive Flame. That's cool. I was like, man, they always throw me off. That whole thing where, you know, they moved at the slot and they kind of do that back then was really weird how they did that with foils. Like, you didn't get a bonus card. They replaced your card. I always thought that was a strange thing. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Kaho Minamo Historian. God, they're so cool, man. I can't... Look how difficult it is for me to open these packs. My, I have to, like, shred the wrapper. How am I going to reseal it and sell it on eBay if, I'm, you know, I have to destroy the wrapper? Ooh, look at that. 
you know, my goodness, they're so flipping difficult to open. All right, trusted Rudy again. Hail to Rudy. Uh, Rudy in the tribe elite and a another spirit. My goodness, every card's a flipping spirit. Celestial Kirin. It's like, my goodness, we've had so many spirits. All right, come on, let's get something good in the clothes, everybody. I feel like I'm dilly dallying. All right, Una, Goro. Ah, uh -uh, there we go. Ah, oh, the Palace of the Clouds. Oh my goodness, that was the other one. You know how much I think it is? That's like a hundred dollar foil, I think, if you have it in pack fresh. It's crazy how expensive some of that old stuff is. All right, Skull Collector Ivory. Choice of, oh my god, that's Rudy in the middle of the night freaking out, hoarding his magic cards. Anybody? No. All right. God, I can't even open the wrappers. All right, here we go, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. And Sunder from within. Seeker the horizon. And the Cloud Hoof. Can't, man, I wish I could ride that horse to the sky. How epic would that be? All right, everybody. We only got a couple packs left. I hope you guys are enjoying the video and even a little bit like me. Exile in Darkness. There she is. The Truth Seeker, everybody. We, man, I think, are we going to get every single hit in the set? That's one thing about these older sets, when they're small like this, and you don't have the, um, the Mythics. First to suffer, this time non-foil, and a foil, Fury's Fire. Holy smokes. That's one thing, everybody. When you deal with these old sets, man, you can get almost everything in one, wow, look at that dude. You can get everything in one box, because there's no Mythics. The Ruthless. Oh, Bushido, who remembers that? Pepperidge Farm remembers. You know who remembers Bushido? Bushido Blade. Anybody? Hashtag Bushido Blade. PlayStation 1. Squaresoft. Anybody? Oh, man. I'm really showing my age, aren't I? Presence of the Wise. And two. Oh, my God. I forgot about that card. The card would never end up being worth anything. Isn't that cool? Wow. It was, there's certain cards. The artwork and the colors just pop so well. Like, even though it's not worth much money, you just have to respect how amazing they look. Here we go. The last visitor. Is she, that a, I think it's a she. Yeah, she can still have me anytime she wants. All right, everybody. The last pack. This is it. Look at the difficulty to open these things. Oh, well, that one. This one I didn't reseal is good. All right, the very last pack. Here we go. We're going to slow roll it. Come on, Rudy. Here we go. This is it. I can, all right. Uncommon. Charge across. Descendant. This is it, everybody. Ah! Another... I think every card's a spirit in this set. Isn't every spirit? Sora Moro, first to dream. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Holy smokes, what a lot of fun. We got a... Too bad we didn't get any crazy foil hits. Um, but besides that... Oh my god, I think we got every good rare in the set. Thank you to our, our supporter of the video, Dr. Ben, for letting all of us enjoy this box opening. And you guys have a fantastic day. Mayor Taco, always remain. Just enjoy your damn taco. Seriously, just enjoy it.